part two of the kitty's world. Moo, I found you, finally. He was hiding in the basement all alone. Moose, where were you? I asked. He said he didn't say anything. He didn't respond. I knew it was something he tr tried to say. I could sense. I read his mind. She can't know. And I read more of his mind. Moose, I know what you, I know what, what in your mind, I said. He says, what, you could read minds? And he, and he tries to be cute, but cute won't fix it, I said. Then he said, why? He said, then the butts were coming. We don't have much time. We gotta hide, I said. He says, okay, we gotta hide, goes on carpet. I'll hide somewhere else. And I hid somewhere else. I hid somewhere in the basement, somewhere that's dark. I stayed there until the morning retrieved. Oh, it's like 1 a.m. Uh, it's like 1 a.m. already? Okay, okay. I told, I'm gonna tell the moose it's 1 a.m. now. Moose is still sitting on the carpet. He says, the butts are gone, but it's setting. The moonlight is setting. But how, I said. It's, it's the apocalypse, it's coming, he said. I gotta run, I said. I run silently and didn't talk. Finally, I was in the basement again. This is the off attic. We don't have much things here, but there's some cat stuff up here. It looked all dusty. Because this is the stuff I had as a kid. And there was a letter. I didn't know what it said, but... I said inside the... I was silent. And I was, and I was scared, too. I was creeped out and scared. I gotta tell Moose, but what if he was scared too? So I told him everything. He was scared too, like I was when I saw the note. But the butts are coming again. I quickly retrieved the back where I slept. Then, when I saw Bailey, my old fish, I suddenly got wrecked. Our baby was 12 years old now. I couldn't, I could, I had to hide. So I hid in the attic of, of rooms. While I was hiding, I needed to go to the restroom, but I knew there was a restroom, but it was broken. It was broken though. I could not use it, but it was broken. So I had to use it. After I did the restroom, I had to go to Moose and, and I had to say good morning. And it was at 1 a.m. And we promised to do a 3 a.m. video. So we did that 3 a.m. video. And I was surprised, because I saw him in the dark. He tried to get away from me, but I didn't listen. I tried to think of a plan to get him back, but I saw Shasha. She's in the middle of the city. I couldn't see her in years. 
when I was seven, I still seen her. But now, I saw her, I was shocked. When I was shocked, I saw that she was fully grown. And I gave her a bone that I had in my pocket for a while. I gave her that. She chewed it up. I went back home. After I got home, I told my mom everything that happened. And she said, did that really happen? And then, as I made dinner without my mom, I made it. I made dumplings, my first time making dumplings. My mom and me ate it together. I was 14 already. <laughs> and, and when I looked at my memory book, I saw some. It looks like someone disappeared in my picture or someone invisible. We don't know yet. I went to the movies. After I went home, I realized something that my door was open in my room, but it never had been open when I I locked my door though. But it was it was open. I got really got scared and shocked. And I was like, hey, my own open it. Then I was more shocked when I told her, when I said, oh, did you open my room? She said, no, no, I didn't. Couldn't be one of the animals, because they were too injured to open a door. Couldn't be moves. Couldn't be coos. Was that that disappeared guy in my, my, my album book? Or maybe worse, Invisible Guy. I know who it is. It was the God of Angerness. As he realized, it took away me. And then I was taken to somewhere. I woke up. Uh, I found something. Uh, I was wearing different clothes. I realized that, and I realized that we were somewhere. I, I don't know. I need to call Zoe. I called her. She didn't answer. I saw her. I saw her laying on the floor, dead. I was really shocked and scared at the same time. Then I saw uh, my, my phone was gone in my pockets. Someone must have took it. I bumped into nothing, but uh, I suddenly felt shocked. I could feel someone being there. I kicked it. Is someone invisible? Ah, uh, I realized it was pushing me. Someone was pushing me. Then I kicked him, and then I ran away back to my home. After I retrieved home, I locked all, all the doors. <sighs> and then <sighs> I was sitting at my couch, shocked, and realized that that this was all and this was all. And he was all in our pictures. He was always in our pictures. But why? Why would someone be in our pictures? I suddenly felt scared for some type of reason. I told my mom everything that happened. But I didn't tell her actually. Really, I didn't. I just said that. Then she was gone. She was still left there, but she was gone. She was gone, I felt shocked. And then I ran to her. I told Maki everything. 
he was gone too, though. I lost everybody in my mind. I said, I said that. Then, then, I was shocked. I couldn't tell them because they were gone. I couldn't tell them. So I ran there. Okay, okay, after the video. And yes, I told them. I got them out and free. That wasn't the end. There's more to this story. Part three?